Hey guys, welcome to JPT, but I'm not Carson anymore. Carson was my nerd name. Now I am Vector. Happy Halloween. And today's video, we're still on the topic of switching to Linux. You guys already know how to switch to Linux. Today, we are going to specifically talk about why you should switch to Linux. Let's get into it. Okay, so Linux, for those of you who don't know what it is, Linux is a free and open source operating system. It's an alternative to Mac and Windows, and the way it's different from them is one, it's free, and two, it's open source, which means many people from around the world can contribute to it and add to the code, therefore helping it advance quicker, whereas Microsoft and Apple are limited to only code from Microsoft and Apple to go into the kernel to, you know, improve the systems. So with that being said, what else makes Linux better than other desktop operating systems out there? And I think the first thing is definitely ease of use. So Linux is by far easier to install and use than other desktop operating systems. And one of those reasons is because of package management. Now, Linux does not require much maintenance at all, really. And it, Linux comes with a package manager, usually app, APT, Advanced Package Tools is what APT stands for. And basically, apt or APT, whatever you want to call it, is a program that will pretty much automatically manage all your packages for you. But the thing is, Linux doesn't do anything without your permission. So I mean, you have to give it permission to update. It won't update whenever it feels like it. <coughs> Microsoft. And it won't cut you off while you're doing your work. It will basically go with your flow. So what a package manager does, it makes it super simple and easy to install remove or update packages. Installing is super easy. Most Linux distributions have a graphical package manager or a software store that you can just open it up and it's a really easy, simple layout that will allow you to search up the app or browse whichever category of app you're looking for and then just click it and install it. It's all completely free. And removing it is basically the same thing. However, if you're a little bit more tech savvy, you could also do it from the terminal by typing sudo apt install, whatever you want to install. But most people would probably just prefer to use the graphical store. Another reason Linux is superior is because of its security. Now, while Linux isn't unhackable, it is pretty darn close. So one of the reasons it's not targeted very much by hackers is because it doesn't have a very good market share. Not as many people actually use Linux compared to Windows and Mac. So hackers tend to target other operating systems that are used more often by more people. But another thing is that Linux's infrastructure is also generally more secure. Windows will let you do pretty much anything. I mean, once you're logged on to the desktop, you can do pretty much anything, no, regardless of what it is, pretty much, at least by default. And on Linux, you can't perform any administrative tasks such as using the package manager to do anything, install, remove, update, changing any important settings, anything like that, or accessing important information. None of that can happen unless you specifically enter your password. And if you're encrypted, which you can easily encrypt a Linux system when you're installing, it's super easy to do, it gives you even more security. So Linux is one, less targeted, and two, just infrastructurally more secure. Windows and Mac only have what? Like one UI, one operating system that is supposed to 
be a one size fits all kind of thing. Linux is the other way around. It has many variants known as distributions that come with different UIs and different desktop environments or different looks and feels to be able to suit anybody. Some are easier and meant for the average user. Others are meant for gamers. Others are meant for the more tech savvy people. Others are meant for businesses. My point is there's definitely a Linux distribution out there for you. And if you're a home user trying to decide which Linux distribution to use, check out my website. I'll give you a really handy tool on how to choose the right Linux distribution to suit your needs the best. Most Linux distributions are easily customizable, have lots of customization options, and you can basically tweak your system to make you feel at home. Okay, and now this far into the video, some of you might be wondering, well, Vector, that's great and all, but like, what about all my programs like Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and stuff like that? Can I run all that on Linux? Well, I mean, yeah, you could. You could install Wine, which is a compatibility layer for Windows that's meant to run on Linux. And it basically just tries to make Windows software work. You could do that. I mean, not stopping you, but really, most Linux distributions come with an office suite known as LibreOffice, which is open source. It's an alternative to Microsoft Office. And it is compatible with Microsoft Office and Google Docs files, at least as far as I'm aware. So you'll pretty much be able to do everything on there. So I, it's kind of pointless to try and run Word through Wine, but if you really want to do that, you could go ahead and do that. And, uh, PowerPoint, I'm not sure if it's available for Linux, but I do know that there is GIMP, which is an open source PowerPoint alternative, and there's Inkscape and other stuff. So basically, if you have a software on Windows, there's bound to be a better open source alternative for it on Linux that you can get for completely free. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, or questions please let me know down below make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i hope you all have a happy halloween we'll see you next time